We started approximately six months ago. It's a high-tech transporter with many innovations that present transporters uh, don't have. The goal with this trailer build was to make a set of trailers that would outlast the competition and sit at the pinnacle of the transporters that are on the field at the V8 supercars. A race team lives and breathes in the transporter. Yeah, everything has to go to the track. You can't get to the track and go, oops, we forgot that, because everything is bespoke, so you can't just duck down to the, the local hardware store and find parts. So it is totally critical that everything arrives in the condition it needs to, and then it's your, your home away from home. First and foremost, in terms of what we wanted, was quality. Then we wanted to have this um, raisable roof structure that we've got on the trailers. Uh, whereby we could effectively create a two-storey structure when we're at a race meeting. Not everyone was going to be able to do that and GLT were prepared to entertain that, to design it and, and as it turned out to execute it as well. With the trailers we've gone with a lead trailer that has a driver's lounge up on the top section and storage underneath. The tag trailer we have eight metre long engineering room with two cars stacked over the rear axle group. We imported a De Hollandia tailgate lift, the best tailgate lifts that we could get out of Europe for the build, which has integrated safety systems, rails, locks, and was a perfect fit for the build. The trailers are built by using our 700 grade material in our chassis, aluminium plank wall construction and fiberglass over the top. We've used custom extrusions specifically for this build along with stainless steel wherever possible. Everything on the trailer is controlled by an iPad. There are no physical locks other than on the main door. The toolbox doors, the side lift, the engine lift, the back door for the cars are all controlled by uh, remote. We custom made everything in this project. Um, we had to you know, get everything to the nearest millimetre to fit inside the specific um, box that we were given. For instance, back at the driver's um, lockers, we wanted to make sure there was as much space to get changed back there, but also be able to fit in their racing suits, fit in the helmets, fit in the gloves, their hands device, every single, their boots, everything was taken into account. So there was a complete mock-up done down in, uh, at our factory, and um, this is the result. Weight hasn't been an issue, so we are able to use um, solid timbers, um, commercial fabrics, so the longevity is going to be great with us, and, and we think that we've still got comfort involved by having soft wall linings, um, and all the soft furnishings around the place. We've raised the standard here in terms of the execution, uh, the fit and finish, um, the functionality of the trailers. Also, hopefully we've achieved one of the objectives that I had all along, which was to make a trailer that enabled us to set up at a racetrack faster and um, pack up at a racetrack faster. We already had a, a very high standards in the other truck, but just the proximity from uh, the two stories lets us have the engineers right near the damper technicians, which there, there's so much conversation going on there that when everything is time critical, it will equate to performance on the track, I believe. The biggest achievement that we've had is uh, putting all the different aspects of the trailer together in one combination. I'm very proud of what our engineers, design team and marketing team at GLT have achieved here. The guys on the floor, the fitters, the electricians have done a great job to produce what you see in front of us. I think this transport is a game changer in the transportation of cars and equipment. Room for engineers to work and the drivers to relax and uh, I'm sure we'll get many more to build.